Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Itadaki Moss. I'm Chad. I'm Justin. And this week we're trying something alcoholic. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, item number one for the week mm -hmm. is Chuhai. 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 All right, so we know what Chuhais are. Um, the only thing we did different is we both picked flavors we've never had before. Well, what are Chuhais for the people who don't know what Chuhais are? Alcohol. <laughs> it's like a, it's not a beer. It's, what's what's the actual liquor in a Chuhai? Uh, sochu. Sochu. Which is Japanese alcohol made from rice, I think. Rice alcohol, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and then there's some kind of flavor. There's always a flavor in it. So usually um, just the bitter types of flavors, grapefruits, lemons, I like those. But there's lots of sweet ones. There's apples, Orange, everything. Uh, plum, this, everything. This one is aloe, which aloe is actually a cactus and it's in a lot of lotions, but it's yeah. also edible. And it's actually pretty good. And it's really popular in Japan. Yeah. I drink like the aloe juice sometimes. It's really mm -hmm. good. Yeah, it's really, it's a lot sweeter than you think it would be. Yeah. And mine is soda. Ramane. Ramane. So ramane is like a famous Japanese candy. Yeah, so it, it tastes like a very sugary soda. And it's pretty good. You get it in ice cream and candy mm -hmm. and chew eye. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so just uh, and everything. It's just this soda flavor. And I don't know if there's anything in the States that really compares to I what don't this is. I think so. I mean, you can go to the... The big Asian marts, the big Korean marts and stuff, um, and buy similar Chuhai type of stuff. I think the Korean ones are called Hai Chus. It's the same thing. Oh, just backwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Alright, but we know these are going to probably be good because we like uh, Chuhai. Most Chuhais are good. So we're going to start off with these, <laughs> and then if anything goes wrong, we're going to default <laughs> back, back to these. <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, kan pai. Kan pai, as a matter of fact. <laughs> kan pai. <laughs> Mm. Ooh. Oh wow, this tastes like soda. Mine is super sweet. So it's soda with 3% alcohol. <laughs> oh, mine is 3%. Also, normally you get them at like 5 or 8%, the bitter ones. Yeah, I sometimes drink. the strong ones you get 9%. Yeah, these are 3%, but they just, so, mine tastes like sugar. It's like alcoholic <laughs> soda, basically. This is not bad at all. Uh, of course, I would recommend this to anyone who is of the age to consume alcohol. It's yummy. Which is what in Japan? 20? Mm -hmm. Pretty Japan sure it's 20. Japan is 20. Yeah, so I think we're okay. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, so mine is really good. Uh, it is in fact a Chuhai, an alcoholic, so we win there. And yummy? It is yummy, and I would recommend it. So a thumbs up <clears throat> for me. Mine is uh, Chuhai also. Oh. It is alcohol and yummy. However, it's really, really sweet, so to each his own, uh, it depends on what kind of alcohol you go for. Um, if you like pina coladas and um, you know stuff with Malibu alcohol in it, this is your, your game right here. If lots of sugar in the middle of the night drinking gives you like heartburn or something, you probably don't start with that. <laughs> but if you were to just try a Chew High... Yeah, if you just wanted a weird flavor Chew High to say you tried one, go for it. Yeah. yeah. So, straight across the board. Don't do a chew high, good, good, recommend, recommend. Go, go, go! Woohoo! Alright, for our second contestant, I'm not sure what this is. It is some kind of green milk. It, what is it? What it looks like. Um, can you read what it says on it at all? No. <laughs> Nigori. Ta go. Ri. Togari? I think that's me. Nikodi kanji. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then something yaka. <laughs> yeah. Fruity. Fruity. Something fruity. So it looks. Oh, man. Oh, wow. like a, look at the surface of it. It looks like a yogurt or something. Yeah, but smell it. It smells like. It smells like cheap sochi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason we picked this one was because it looked really interesting. There was it was like really layered. Um, there was a bottom heavy layer of something. Yeah, as you saw film. from the little film intro, mm -hmm. it was like separated and it looked really weird. So we've never had this before, no. uh, and we are not quite sure what it is. From the smell, I'm gonna say it's so chewy with weird something in it. Yeah. Uh, 
makes it milk or something. And since the only word I can read on here is fruity, it's probably fruit. Uh, I certainly hope so. Like a fruit extract of some kind. Yeah. I don't imagine this is going to be delicious. Because I don't like just pure soda. <laughs> Maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised. I think this is probably the equivalent of drinking like rubbing alcohol. <laughs> is there a percentage of alcohol in here? Um, I didn't even look for that. No. We've got 210 milliliters. Of which we'll drink like three. Yeah, maybe. I don't see an alcohol percentage. So maybe it's not even alcoholic. That'd be awesome. <laughs> no, there's no way. <laughs> All right. This so... smells like a drunk old man after a night of a night at the bar, <laughs> slinking back home on the train. Come by. Come by. Uh, it's definitely sochu. Oh man. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I can't name the fruit, but... You know, I don't of... know if it is fruit. That's... You don't think so? I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh. It's not great. <laughs> it's almost like a weird yogurt. The more of it I drink, the less I like it. This one. Well, it's alcoholic. It is. Obviously, when you taste it, it's mm -hmm. alcoholic. Um, is, is it, it good? No. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, if I had a choice between this and something else, I'd probably pick something else. <laughs> if I had to drink uh, some real cheap whiskey, just in a cup, even without ice, <laughs> probably, I'd probably be going for the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's saying something. Now, would you recommend this to somebody? No. Yeah, because I think there's even better soju drinks, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, if you wanted to experience some interesting Japanese alcohol, there's stuff that tastes awesome, and... There's stuff that tastes way better. This, uh, this just tastes like a really cheap way to get drunk. So, yeah, so unless you're feeling really brave and you want to try something exotic... I would say stay away. I can't say I'd recommend it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Okay, uh, number three on the menu today. Yes, is another real interesting one. So we can't yeah. say that we picked this because <laughs> we were thrilled about drinking it. <laughs> but as the picture shows, there are some shriveled uh, balls inside. <laughs> I, I hope shriveled balls. <laughs> I hope they are uh, not an animal product. That's all I'm thinking. They do look pretty crazy. So I'm pretty sure it's sour plum because uh, that's a thing in Japan. And especially for alcohol, um, sour plum chew highs one of my favorites. Drink them all the time. Really? Well, yeah, they're like very good. Then. However, again, this is a glass bottle of yeah. probably sochu. Mm, it smells fruitier than the other one did. And it says, yeah, that's one of the interesting smell. Pura Q, uh, Choya. Choya must be the brand or something. Yeah. 100%. 100% what I don't know. Oh, but 14% alcohol. 14% like that. alcohol. That's pretty strong. The cutie. Maybe that's the liquor. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. There's no like particles. Like, like, there's like nothing floating around in it. No, it's they're just Besides too solid. Besides the things. <laughs> so I hope it comes through in the picture how funny that looks. Um, that's pretty weird. It's just another. Yeah, you gotta be brave. <laughs> you gotta be brave. Let's man. do this. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, well, compared to the last one, it's delightful. It's a lot more mild <laughs> of a flavor, but it's definitely plum. Yeah, tell me. Uh, it's I not mean, even sour plum, really. It's it's not super sour. Plum plum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was expecting a super sour <laughs> maybe, but it's not. Just plum. Well, it's definitely yummier than the other one was, uh, and just for the fun factor, <laughs> I would, I would probably drink it at a party with friends and say, "Hey, give me one of those cow testicles when you're done, or whatever, you know." Yeah, I don't think we're gonna drink so much that we can get one of those out. I'm not planning on sticking like a fork to get it. Or yeah, so. <clears throat> I don't know how brave we really are. <laughs> Well, that can have its own episode. We're like half brave. <laughs> the thing at the bottom of the jar alcohol. Like <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's alcohol, mm -hmm. plainly. Is it good? It's... 
Hmm. See, I'm right on the line with that. It's not yeah. really good. Uh, it's, it's okay. Again, it yeah. just depends on... It's it's in a category uh, with a whole bunch of other things that are awesome. And so when, you, right. when the baseline is awesome and you've got this kind of mediocre thing, it falls down below the baseline. And, uh, so it's drinkable. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you were really drunk and just wanted to get more drunk, this would do the trick. And it'd be a cheap way to do it. Yeah, 14%. <clears throat> However, and I think these were like 200 yen a piece. Or, yeah, or less. So if you're going to get drunk, 200 yen is a deal. <laughs> it's less than two bucks in this uh, conversion, so. Yeah. It's like a dollar seventy or something. But just to have at the house to, you know. It's pretty kiss. You like that elbow? You want some dough. <laughs> now, just to have at home to get like a buzz off of while you're playing uh, Dawn of War or Diablo, no, probably not. Yeah, so much. Would you recommend it? I would say that if you. Wanted to be adventurous and try some sochu that didn't taste like the other one did? Yeah. Yeah, why not? I think I would recommend this one because it, it does have something inside of it. And generally, it's interesting to try stuff when there's something yeah. on the bottom of the glass. Yeah, really, it's a fun factor, you know? Yeah, exactly. There's a party factor to it. So it's not delicious, but it's not horrible. I would recommend it, and it's alcohol. So. There we go. All right, so that was something alcoholic. It was awesome. <laughs> Best episode ever. Indeed. And stay tuned next week when we try something from the sea. Oh. Which might be the worst. Yep, episode. committing. We're committing. All right, so until next time, sayonara. sayonara. All right, so we would normally wrap up the episode, but we've got some bonus footage. <laughs> We found right. these tiny, tiny cans of beer. So cute. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have a little competition to see who can drink their tiny can of beer faster. Are we? So mine is <laughs> Kieran. And this is Asahi Super Dry. Super Dry. Mm -hmm. Now mine is brewed for good times. <laughs> <laughs> for just a little bit of a good time, apparently. If, if you want a little bit of a good time, this is your answer. Party in the bottle. No. Yeah. And it says it's good value and quality. So. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and agree with them on this one. So this is like a maybe a double shot size of if alcohol. That, it's and so tiny. Japanese beer is pretty good. I don't know, everyone I talk to, you either like it or you don't. Uh, but for me, I like Asahi. Um, this is Kirin, right? Yeah, Kirin's Kirin. pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. So. It says it's track, but that can't be track. And since we're drinking today, you know. Yeah. So I see yours is what, 5.5%? What is mine? Mine is 5.5. I don't see it on here. Which I guess is average. 5% yeah. is like beer. I think that's normal. Yeah, I just don't see it. Whatever. Same. It's probably the same. Yeah. But they're definitely the same size. 135 milliliters. Yeah. Uh, so. Mine does not say. Weird, <laughs> Weird how it's like <laughs> opposite. Yeah. They're definitely the same size. Yeah. So you're ready so. to down this thing? This drop of beer. I'm not like a alcohol chugging person. I kind of sip. I'm a more of a wine guy. Yeah, but you don't sip a beer. I guess I have uh, luck on my side as you're holding two dogs in your <laughs> Yes, I got two dogs. I should tempt them with lots of fun. Alright. Alright. Come on. Bye. 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 Gone. Ah! You win! That was fun. <laughs> All right, bonus footage over. Oh.